using the Start menu and File Explorer. This video will show you how to use the Start menu and File Explorer to find documents and applications on your computer. First, go to the Start menu icon and click on it. Programs that you use often will be listed at the top. All of the programs and applications on your computer are listed here too. They are in alphabetical order. You can scroll through your list to see different programs and applications. And you can open the folders that hold more applications. To look at what applications are in a folder, just click on the arrow to the right of the folder. This will open the folder and allow you to view what's in it. If you are looking for a specific program, application, or file, you can search for it by clicking on the magnifying glass. This will open a search bar on the bottom left of your screen. To search, you type the name of the program, application, or document you are looking for where it says Search. When you begin typing in the box, options will begin to appear above the search bar. For example, I want to find Microsoft Word, so I am going to type Word in the search bar. As soon as I start typing, I can see that options begin to appear above the search bar. I see Word 2016 above, so I stop typing and click on Word 2016 to open the application. You can also access your files and documents through the Start menu by using the File Explorer. If you have used the File Explorer recently, it may be under Most Used. If you have not used it, you may have to search for it first. When you open the File Explorer, you'll have a list of your files and folders. On the left, you will see a list of locations such as Desktop, Downloads, Documents, Pictures, Drives, etc. On the right, you'll see Frequent Folders and Recent Files. You can open up a recent folder and scroll through it, or you can scroll through your recent file list. You can also look through folders on the left if they don't appear on the right. The Start menu has a lot of other features as well. This is where you can shut down your computer, put it to sleep, or restart it. You can also sign out when you have finished working. This is very important to do if you share your computer with others.